Amber Heard's biggest supporter is on the verge of getting bankrupt and it's heavily affecting the actress and probably her appeal. Who will defend her now? The actress lost the defamation trial against her ex-husband, Johnny Depp, after she was declared guilty by the jury for defaming him with malicious intent. Against Amber Heard, we the jury award punitive damages in the amount of $5 million. Because of that, she now has to pay him $10 million for damages. She did ruin his career after all. The mega long weeks of the trial didn't put an end to the drama though. It seems like Amber Heard doesn't want this to be over yet. Amber went on so many interviews post-trial just to try and rewrite the whole thing. She still wanted everyone to think she's innocent although there's so much proof out there that she might have hurt Johnny Depp during their marriage. Her team and her handful of supporters are still defending her as well. One of those supporters owns a really big account on the internet. This person caused quite a stir on the internet since he created a research firm comprising data scientists, machine learning engineers, and researchers specializing in identifying mis- or disinformation. But, ironically, all the tweets of the account on Twitter are mostly about Amber Heard. CEO Christopher Buzzi owns Bot Sentinel and we swear we've heard his name before, mostly because he reportedly got caught doing smear campaigns and spreading fake news about some internet journalists. He says his company specializes in identifying and understanding disinformation and targeted attacks on social media platforms, but apparently all people see or hate toward non-Amber fans. Recently, he even proudly tweeted about that umbrella guy, saying that the journalist is guilty of spreading false information just because he set some of his videos on YouTube private. There's no exact reason for that but Christopher assumed it quickly, as if he was keeping an eye on him. The journalist even joked that maybe he's not getting his paychecks anymore that's why he's doing that. Well, that may not be a joke anymore because there are some reports that he may actually be bankrupt. After the whole That Umbrella Guy fiasco, Christopher targeted a new internet personality and clearly, he shouldn't have. He tweeted about Nate the lawyer and talked badly about his parents and the rest of his family. He proceeded to say that Nate the lawyer was attacking a bunch of journalists and himself, even with his law enforcement background. Nate did not take any of this and reveal that Christopher lied in court. Apparently, he filed for bankruptcy a while ago because he couldn't pay his $11 rent. What he failed to do is he didn't mention in court that he owned or that he's the CEO of Bot Sentinel. Nate thinks that Christopher intentionally left it out so that he may seem broke. One internet user pointed out that isn't that illegal to file for bankruptcy and not declare your income so you don't pay your rent. Another said, now they're attacking YouTubers and lawyers. Who's next? They should get a life. We're starting to wonder who will help Amber in her appeal if she's starting to lose supporters. Well, they shouldn't have done this in the first place. They can clearly support the idol without ruining other people's lives, but it's too late now. Remember that some of this information is all based on theories and opinions that shouldn't be considered facts. That's all for now. Thanks for watching.